in this video I'll show you how to connect your Canon Maxify MB2720 using a USB cable with your computer. It works with PC and Mac computer. This cable is not included in the box and if you want to get one I'll put links in the description down below towards Amazon. So let's get started right away. The first step is to actually go on the PC or Mac computer. Now in the box with this printer, there is a CD with the driver that you need uh, to install on your PC or Mac. Unfortunately, many PCs these days don't have a CD player. This is why you need to go on Google and type MB2720 setup. One of the first option should be from the actual uh, Canon official website. So click on it, it should be wireless printer setup for Windows or for Mac if you are on a Mac. Go down and you should get over here number two. Download and run the setup file on your computer. Click on go to setup page. Click on the download button. It will download um, the software that we need to connect them. Click open file, yes, click on start setup. In the meanwhile, we can connect the printer and the computer. So plug the USB end in the side of your computer. And this one, while well, it goes in the back of your Canon printer, there is a port there. Let me show you. You see, this is the uh, back of your Canon printer. And on the right side, the top one, it's a USB port. So we just have to align this USB cable properly and connect it there. From this screen, select your country, press next, press agree, click next, click USB connection, the last option, and then, then click next and wait. Then it will ask you to connect the printer using the USB cable. We already did this point, but if uh, it does not detect it, simply de uh, detach it from your computer, wait two seconds and plug it back. As you see here, it has now been detected. It will ask you if you want to print a test print. I don't want that. I'll simply press next. I'll get the green check mark. It means everything is nicely set up. You can set it up as a default printer. Click next. Wait until this is installed and then let me show you how to print and scan once this will be fully ready. If you want to print any file from your PC, open the file. Click on the print logo. Select your printer from the list. And now select how many copies you want. You also have other options. And at the end, press the print button. Usually in just a few seconds, the print should be sent and printed by your Canon printer. Perfect. Now let me show you how to use the scanners of this printer. There's two different scanners. So there's one that is a flatbed. This is a pretty typical scanner and an automatic document feeder in case you want to scan multiple pages. I'll show you how both of these are working. Let's start by the flatbed. So over here, place your document you wish to scan facing down with the top part of the document towards the left side. Then we need to align the top uh, left corner with the top left corner of the scanner. So just push until both corners are aligned. All right, close the lid. On the PC itself, you need to go down in the search bar and type scanner. So I'll click here and type scanner or scan. The scan app should come by default with your computer. But if you don't have it, go on the Windows Microsoft Store and download it. It's free. It's made by Microsoft and it's pretty useful. So once you click on scan, it will open. On the left side, make sure you select your Canon uh, printer. Under source, click on a flatbed if this is where you have put it. 
file type change to a file type you'd like to save. Click show more and you'll be able to change the resolution of your scan. 150 is by default, but you can change that. And where the file will go. Once you're ready, click scan. Once this is done, you're going to get a confirmation over here that it has been saved. You can press the view button to view whatever file you have scanned. It will open. Here we go. Excellent. Now, if you want to use the top document feeder instead, this is if you have multiple pages. So let's say I have these two pages I want to scan. Well, simply align them place them facing up with the top part towards the left, glide them over here until it beeps. And now on your PC, the only difference, do the same thing, but instead of flatbed on their source, select feeder, press the scan button. And when you do this, you see the printer will take one by one each sheet of paper without you having to touch anything. And the same way you're going to get a confirmation message on your PC. Here we go. And it will be saved. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.